there is a very practical reason that why we need to learn linear programming and it's very useful in business decision uh, I think this is a good example that uh, the company had to decide how many regular bookshelves or how many and also how many deluxe bookshelves that they should produce in order to maximize their profit uh, and in the real world there are some constraints that we can't just simply produce unlimited times of our regular book shell to earn infinity amounts of money so there are some constraint for example the cost that uh, the deluxe book shell needs some machine time and also the uh, manpower time something like that so we are going to use the equations or inequality to represent the region uh, which is limited by the constraint that will be the feasible production number set of uh, our product and then among all those uh, solutions that mean all those feasible choice we are going to make one choice will maximize our profit based on the profit function so that's what we are going to do so the first stage we need to translate the constraint because it's just in, uh, some sentence is it's not well organized so we don't understand how to analyze uh, after we set the constraint we have to use the line to find out the feasible choice uh, within the certain region and also finally based on the limited choice we are going to find which point which combination will give us the maximum profit so the first stage we have to translate the constraint in this question there are two constraints they are talking about cost uh, first is the limited machinery time and also limited finishing time and the regular product they need four hours machine time one hour finishing time the deluxe product uh, require three hours of machine time three hours of finishing time in total we have 100 hour machine time available and also seven hours of finishing time available uh, it's totally messed up here why it's so difficult to understand is because every sentence they mix up two things so in your mind you should just separate two things first the first item is machinery time the regular one need four hour machine time and the deluxe one need three hours machine time so the first constraint we just write down machine time one regular bookshelf we spend four hours two regular bookshelves we spend two times four hours so x regular bookshelf we spend four times x hours it is four x together with we still need to spare some time for deluxe product so three hours of machine time time three times the number of deluxe bookshelf three y and it should not exist that means it is smaller or equal to the available machine time which is 100 hours and then we finish one of the constraint we are going to finish another constraint which is about the finishing time for the regular bookshelf we need one hour finishing time only for the deluxe bookshelf we need three hours of finishing time and in total we have seven hours finishing time available therefore finishing time for this constraint are uh, one hour for each regular so in total we need x time one hour for finishing time for regular and then three hours each per uh, deluxe box shell so it is three time y is smaller than the total time available seven hours we finish two constraint which is written down in the sentence but however in the real life of course there are some constraint that we don't need to express explicitly tell you it's about x the number of time should be larger or equal to zero you can produce negative number of product y is larger than zero also and finally you can produce half of a bookshelf is do not worth so that's why we say x and y are both integer and we have to fulfill all this requirement together so we use the n symbol 
and to get all this together we'll form our limited region that we can choose and then amongst the region we are going to find out which point will give us the maximum profit we are now going to draw the constraint in the coordinate planes the first line the blue line 4x plus 3y is less than or equal to 100 So y is more than negative 4 over 3, x and then plus 100 over 3. The line is like this with a solid line because we accept the equal case. The y-intercept is 100 over 3 and the x-intercept when y equal to 0, you get x is equal to 25. That means under this constraint, we can choose to provide uh, all of them are deluxe box shell, which is 33.3 something or uh, if not then we don't finish any uh, deluxe box shell we just simply produce 25 regular box shell or a mixture which is some point between them then the second line y plus 3y is more than 70 and y is more or equal to negative 1 over 3 times of x plus 7 T over 3 and the line may be like this uh, the y intercept is 70 over 3 and when y equal to 0 x will equal to 70 it's not on scale but it's just give you the shape of the region for both line we are talking about smaller than so uh, we are finding the region below the reference line and don't forget that because of the velocity uh, x must be larger than zero and y should be larger than zero so uh, only the first quadrant is feasible the feasible region is this quadrilateral any point within this quadrilateral the corresponding xy combination will fulfill our requirement in reverse that means any point outside this region do not fulfill any one or even more than one of the requirement and part C they give more information about the profit they say that the profit of selling a regular bookshelf is 200 and our profit of selling a deluxe bookshelf is 300 so the total profit is equal to 200 times the number of regular bookshelf and plus 300 times the number of deluxe bookshelf this is the total profit function and how can we find out which point will give us the total profit uh, it's based on a free read that the maximum profit will only appear at the corner that means the vertex first point second point third point and fourth point uh, even though this one is totally nonsense everyone knows the profit is zero but you still have to explicitly show this calculation we have to try every vertex for fear requirement but however this vertex is not feasible it's because it can be 70 over 3 we choose the greatest integer for fear the requirement which is 23 and if we produce 23 of y then we can still produce 1x so uh, there is a let me consider a corner this point is 23 1 we are going to test this point instead of the vertex before we start calculate the uh, uh, profit for different points, we need to find out this intersection point first. By solving the simultaneous equation of these two straight lines, because we are talking about red line and blue line, then we get the point of intersection is x equal to 10 and the corresponding y is 20. We let the profit be p, so in the first case, for the first point 23 1 this point then the profit p1 is equal to 200 times 23 and then plus 300 times 1 we get four thousand nine hundred dollars as a profit in the first possibility and then for the second point 10 20 the second possibility is equal to 200 times 10 plus 300 times 20 it is eight thousand dollars and then do the same for another two points after we finish we find that among four possibility uh, 
about near the vertex. We find that when x is equal to 10, uh, y is equal to 20, then our profit are uh, maximized. It. So to answer how many regular book share we should produce, we should produce 10 regular book share, and we should produce 20 deluxe book share. And in this case, our total profit, that means the maximized profit is 8,000. So that's what we have to do by learning linear programming.